Hi, it was my birthday recently and I was really, really fortunate. Somebody bought me loads of paper, beautiful paper. So yesterday I just put this together and it's not really going to be anything. It'll probably go in one of my artist books. Um, but just pieced some papers. This is muslin. And that one under there with the gold on, that was part of what I got for my birthday. And I love how it shows through that gridded paper there so i've been doing a bit of hand stitch on it now obviously i can't damp stretch this and there is creases from where the hoop's been but i don't think well i know that once i've embroidered this and embellished it to the nth degree that those creases will be not will just won't be visible um, so i'm not worried so just thought i'd do a couple of bit of stitches with you today just to touch base, now this isn't me blogging again every day, it's not possible at the minute. Uh, without going into detail, it just isn't possible. Um, but it is kind of like just reaffirming my commitment to this little public space I've got because it's important to me and there'll come a time in the future where I will get back to normal and things will um, happen daily, I'm sure. Um, just let me get a drink. So I just wanted to touch base with you and kind of just make that commitment to you um, I mean some of you might not care if I never come back but some of you are very loyal and a blessing and I just wanted to make you aware that I'm still here I still think about you and I still want this to be my life and one day it will be permanently again so also by the way it's not just paper on here little snippets of lace i bought that lace in san francisco um 10 years ago now but what it's very special lace it was quite expensive and i made my daughter's wedding bag i don't know if you remember five years ago she got married this but it's five years this year and i used this lace for that wedding bag so this that's just a couple of little off cuts of that very special lace so what i want to do now i'm going to do another french knot hopefully the picture will show you the beautiful texture on here and then I'm going to do a bullion loop as well and put one of those little pink sequins on it. So I'll just get my sequin out of this jar. I've got jars and jars and jars of sequins all over this house. Um, I don't want to lose it, so I'll just put it in there for now in the lid. There's another one in there already. That must be from last night. So come down there and come up there. I'm doing them kind of quite far apart, like little bridges. Um, right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm doing twenty and twenty for these because I want, I want them to be quite wide. Put my little sequin on. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, from experience, when I'm doing this on camera, I sometimes struggle to pull the needle through. It's always the way, uh, but actually, having said that, it seems to be coming. But it's, when you've got forty wraps on there, and it, it's a little tight and your hands are sweaty oh do you know I thought it was too good to be true there. right normally what happens there as well as I get a knot but fortunately I didn't then and there so that's that bullion loop done now down to the back so this is you know it's going to develop quite quickly but it'll be one of them things that I just pick up and put down as and when because I'm quite committed to a few things that we're making and the classes that I've got going at the minute. Um, so I'll just do another French knot. I don't want to completely obscure that beautiful paper with the gold, but I don't think I am. I think I'm allowing it to have its place. I won't extend too far over there with French knots. It'll just be this seam. And then probably over here, I'll do something else and leave this central section. Um, so that the layering of that paper is obvious and that beautiful paper underneath is uh, visible. So that was just a little hello from me to you. Um, 
and I'll probably see you again soon, but not tomorrow, I don't think.